Hey, what's up, Snell? Welcome to a new episode of Final Final Vlog. Today we're gonna be blasting California's Volan Aku Ab Alal. So fucking good. Iron Bonehead and the Anjana Offensive. I'm sorry if I butchered any of those names, but this is some amazing, amazing US black metal. Worship Black Twilight. Seriously, I'm a big fan of the Black Twilight Circle, and I, I really, really love what Eduardo does with Volan and every other project he's involved in when it comes to the Black Twilight Circle. I'm also very much looking forward to the new mini LP being released, I think in October. I mean, you can listen to one of the tracks. I'm not sure if it's going to be more than the one track, but Nuclear War Now is going to be putting that bad boy out, and I cannot fucking wait. But if you're a fan of, like, pretty much, imagine Panopticon, but a lot more vicious, but oriented in pre-Latin American culture, and it's fucking amazing. Like, seriously, I cannot recommend this record enough right here. And just Volan in general. Like, seeing this band live was one of the best black metal bands I've ever seen live in my fucking life. And with that Alter Risk production here, it's just an amazing, amazing record and just killer, killer stuff. Highly, highly recommended. And yeah, fucking Eduardo Ramirez is in my opinion, a musical genius, and all those Black Twilight Circle bands I think are worth your time. But this full length right here is just, it's a history lesson, it's a love letter to this certain culture with like the Jaguar Warriors and whatnot. I forget the name of the tribe offhand, but it's just a love letter to, you know, the culture that came before and even before that that fought off colonialism and all that stuff but today I want to go over this split release thanks to Dennis down in West Palm Beach and that is Blood Moon's split with Trapped Within Burning Machinery I actually have just gotten into Trapped Within Burning Machinery as they put out a full length record on Transylvanian tapes but here we have a song from each band and the Blood Moon song tracks in at around 11 minutes while the track within Burning Machinery track Abyss Walker I know that sounds very familiar and I'll get into that in a second but Abyss Walker is around 17 plus minutes and both bands here bring their A game as First off, if you are part of the drinking community, then guess who recorded this and where it was recorded at? Yes, Greg Wilkinson at Earhammer Studios took care of the Blood Moon side of things, along with Brad Boatwright doing the mastering. And holy shit, nothing is special, nobody cares. Yes, it sounds like a title of the next record from the body but wow this is fucking awesome very very doomy and then transcending into an almost post metal like vibe that would make fucking pelican blush it's fucking sick like i really really was you know caught off guard and even more caught off guard when it went right back into that crushing doom vibe that started things off. It was fucking sick. Like, 
completely caught me out of nowhere and the atmospheric like soaked doom here is just wow I, I fucking dig it and um you know, you get 11 plus minutes, and to me, that was enough time to realize that Blood Moon's a pretty fucking cool band, and definitely looking forward to hearing more from these guys in the future. It just really, really caught me off guard, especially when it went into that kind of pelican post metal y territory. It actually, like, very, very much wasn't out of place or anything it flowed very nicely into it and then back into that just fucking heavyweight doom sound that this has and it's fucking sick nothing is special nobody cares it sounds just like the title says this is you know something that's very heartfelt sounding and at the same time just very abrasive yet beautiful when it goes into those post metal y sounding parts. It's very, very interesting and, you know, it's a lot different sounding than a lot of other Doom bands out there. As I haven't heard a Doom band really go into that post metal territory in a long time, but I would throw this up there. If you're a fan of like Sumac, Isis, Neurosis around like through silver and blood. I have a feeling you're gonna love Blood Moon Especially this track nothing is special. Nobody cares on this split with trapped within burning machinery who we're gonna talk about now and the side That trapped within burning machinery did is a track entitled abyss walker and if you're a fan of tomb mold then you know that this is based off a character from a video game called Dark Souls. Now, I'll be straight up with you. I don't know shit about Dark Souls. Nothing. But I do know Tomb Mold, love it, and, you know, have referenced it way more than once in their music. But Abyss Walker kind of follows the same lyrical, you know, journey. And it's completely understandable as this band loves that video game enough to where they're making a 17 plus minute doomy opus to fucking cover the content. It's awesome. I fucking love this song and the fact that they just released a full length The Putrid Stench of Decaying Self on Transylvanian Tapes made this even more interesting as I was new to this band. I had never heard of them before checking this out. And I have number 82 of 100. And you get the lyrics here and everything. And I should go over this real quick. Blood Moon is Peter Thomas on guitars and vocals. Jason Goldie on drums and vocals. And Patrick Maholland on bass. And like I said, recorded and mixed by Greg Wilkinson and mastered by Brad Boatwright. While Trapped Within Burning Machinery is Zach Esperaza on guitars and vocals, Rob Trajulio on guitar, Ernie Lara on bass, and Jeff Jones on drums. Engineering, mixing, and additional guitar by James Inglet and drums recorded at Trench Studios by John Haddad and mastered by Blake Bickle of, of Dynamic Sound. I dig the artwork here as well. It's just very, very simple, straightforward, little like bone sculpture of some sort. It's just fucking cool looking. And again, I feel it goes along with the subject matter a lot. Kind of looks like a snowflake as well. I don't know, I think it's cool looking. Both bands have readable logos. And I was talking about Trapped Within Burning Machinery. And just wow. 
crushing, crushing doom that crawls over you with darkness, riffs, and vocals that go from straight up death metal to straight up black metal and go back and forth like a nice good cop, bad cop vocal delivery should as it's not distracting whatsoever. It flows very, very nicely. I can hear hints of like Swamp Witch and a lot of other influences, but it's fucking sick. Like seriously, if you're a fan of blackened doom metal, oh yeah, Trapped Within Burning Machinery has your name written all over it with Abyss Walker. Amazing fucking vocal delivery, seriously. I can't get over how much. At first I was like, oh no, like, <laughs> I hope this doesn't ruin it. And then it just ended up just being the complete opposite. It really, really worked very, very well. And that has a lot to do with that 17 minute track time. As they had time to actually work everything out into these parts that end up coming together and creating a cohesive, heavy fucking slab of doom metal. And I really like, you know, how you have a little bit of heartfelt, like, doomy tunes, and then some more fantasy-based, you know, RPG-based lyrical content when it comes to track the fin machine. Trapped Within Burning Machinery side of things on this split cassette. And I know this is like available on a couple different formats. I'll put a link in the video description. But I'm guessing the cassette is probably sold out if I have number 82 out of 100. But I'm not sure where Dennis grabbed a copy of this from. And I can't tell what record label this is. The logo is kind of hard to... I, I'm not really sure what that is off the top of my head, and I do apologize. I'll try and look it up and put it in the video description, but you get a nice hard shell, cassette tape, it's loud, it sounds great. The mix job on here is amazing, and I really, really like this trapped within burning machinery side of things with Abyss Walker. And I know the title of this band sounds like some 2004 like metalcore band but trust me it's the complete opposite of that trapped event burning machinery bring the fucking doom metal and oh yeah this is heavy as fuck with some blackened elements it's awesome and blood moon as well just delivers 11 plus minutes nothing is special nobody cares Doomy, doomy stuff that transcends into post metal at times. Highly suggest checking out Nothing Is Special, Nobody Cares by Blood Moon and Abyss Walker by Trapped Within Burning Machinery. This split is awesome. And if you like the Trapped Within Burning Machinery side of things, they have a new release out on Transylvanian Tapes The Putrid Stench of Decaying Self. I'll put a link to that as well. Great little split here. I wouldn't call it little either, as these tracks are both over 10 minutes and get the job done. Blood Moon and Trapped Within Burning Machinery. Fucking A. Get into it if you're a fan of blackened, doomy metal. That has some post-metal elements and some other elements outside of the box of your usual death doom metal attack. Blood Moon and Trapped Within Burning Machinery. Fuck yeah. Two awesome tracks from two awesome bands. And speaking of awesome, we were blasting Volan. And... I love this record so fucking much. Worship Black Twilight. Pretty much everything the Black Twilight Circle does is worth your time. Killer, killer full-length record. 
But as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Thank you, Dennis, for sending us my way, and hopefully you enjoy it. Hey.